Hey folks, welcome back to the shop. Uh, I have found in my very short woodworking journey that a lot of my woodworking isn't about building big, beautiful furniture. That's what you know we all want to do, but that's not what mine is about. Mine is about problem solving. Spice racks, ramps, shelves for cabinets, problem solving. That's apparently what my woodworking is about. I'm okay with that. It still gets me out in the shop. I still get to I still get to play with tools and wood and count all my fingers when I'm done. Uh, coming up, uh, well, when you're seeing this, it's going to be tomorrow. For me, it's four days from now. Flag day is coming up. Um, some people don't care. I do. But I got a problem with the flag. Okay, I got a big problem with the flag. And so we need to address that today. Now, before you just shut the video off, let me explain. My problem is not with the flag. My problem is with my flag. I'll show you what I mean. So there she is in all of her beauty and glory and in all of the respect that she deserves, except at my house. I'm always so proud to fly the flag. As many of you, if, if you're in a different country than the United States, you have the same feeling. You got pride in that flag. That flag you're looking at right there doesn't look very prideful. The problem is, is it's on a very cheap metal rod. And as you can see with the trees there, we get a really nice breeze here. The problem with that is that it's not, the rod is not allowing the flag to actually rotate, I guess would be the word. And so it just folds up on itself until it ends up up on the roof. And by golly, that's just not good enough. So I'm going to come up with a solution for that today. So here's the game plan. First off, get rid of that stupid metal pole that the flag is currently mounted to. I picked up a uh, one inch uh, by four foot. Huh, doesn't look like four foot. One inch by four foot poplar rod. Uh, that's going to become my new flag pole. And I had to figure out if I just run eye bolts in this, I'm going to have the same problem over again. So uh, I've taken over to the drill press a piece of scrap. This is from the, the ramp. And I drilled some one inch holes in it, which are going to slide on here. Uh, they don't spin quite as much as I would like for them to, but that's what was that? Okay. They don't spin quite as much as I would like them to. I can fix that. The plan is to cut this in half, okay, that's going to give me two rings uh, at the top, two rings down at the bottom. And the reason for that is, is that while this is able to rotate, I don't want it to collapse on itself either. So I'm going to have basically a ring, what I'll call the rotating part, and another ring to hold that in place, and the same up here. So this is all experimental. It might work. It might not. So what I'm going to have to do is first cut these out. So each one is separate. Uh, run them. Well, I'm going to run them through the saw first. Cut this piece in half. Then cut these out. So I'll have all matching pieces. Uh, we'll just get into it and see what happens. I can try to explain this to you, but it's, I, I, it doesn't even make sense to me. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that in half. So one of the things I just realized that I need to know, it's kind of important. I need to know how the flag, like how, how big is it? I don't have a clue. I just, I went and bought it. So I got to go do that. I got to go check that out. So I know where to put this stuff at because otherwise it's stupid. Okay. So my flag, the holders, anyway, the eyelets from the bottom eyelet to the top eyelet is 32 inches. And so that's what these have to be spaced out at 32 inches. That allows the flag to, to flow freely. I am not convinced that this is four feet long. Not convinced one little bit. I stand corrected. Okay. These are cut out now. Uh, this is going to slide on here. Beautiful. Uh, so what I need to do now is separate my circles. Okay, uh, I want them to I want them to be big enough that it's going to hold the rotating piece in place, 
but I don't want them to be so big that it's going to be obtrusive and stupid looking and you know what I mean. So again, I think the only thing I have to cut these out with is jigsaw. That's going to be fun. We'll try that out. And then I'm going to take them over to the sander and make them look pretty. Okay. So let's see how that works out. So I have this one inch washer, uh, one inch inside diameter. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of trace that out on there and let that be my circle, my size. Uh, I'm not going to cut right up to the line. Well, it's a jigsaw, so and it's going to be, you know how that works. So, but that's going to be my goal and see if I can cut it out. And then I can take it to the sander and clean it up if I need to. Okay, one of the problems that I see is that for me to run eye bolts or whatever I'm going to use <clears throat> to hold that flag onto these rings, it's not, I don't have enough meat there to do that. So I'm going to, for the, for the ones that I'm going to put the bolts in that are actually going to hold the flag, I'm going to cut them out of a two by four. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too much of my space, uh, but I need some meat there to put the screw into because otherwise, You've seen how windy we get here. It's just go, whoo, my flag's going to fly away and the neighbor's going to bring it back and say bad things about me and we don't want that. It's kind of round. So when I walked away from the sander, I happened to look at the discs for the spindle aspect of it. And that's about the thickness that I want so that I can run a screw in it. it. This is, I think this is for the one inch spindle. Although the one in the inside is more than one inch and I, it's a little more play than what I want. Although it might be okay. I could probably get away with it. I'm going to go ahead and stick with that one inch. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, we'll find out, but definitely the outside diameter is what I want to go with. Remind me to put this back on the spindle sandler because I will lose it forever because I know me. So this gets to test my skills on the jigsaw again. I probably should have got a longer piece, a longer scrap. That's easy to say, but I ain't got one. I'm just going to randomly try and center this other washer up inside of this. It don't got to be spot on perfect. That looks like donuts. Mm, donuts. Um, again, I haven't told you folks this for a while. Don't let greatness stand in the way of good enough. This just has to be good enough. It needs to be able to flow with the wind. So I'm going to try and cut this without losing any phalanges. One down. This ought to be the fun one. Oh boy. It'll be fine. Like I said, I knew it would work. Some things I didn't take into consideration. I'm in su such a hurry. I should have drilled this out first. Now that's going to be the most interesting thing in the world. We'll see how that works out. It's fine.
Didn't see this coming. Can I? Ah. No, oh, that's not sketchy at all. I don't know. We'll try it. What's the worst that could happen? Don't ever ask that question. Basically, what I'm doing is I want this inside hole to, to be a little bit bigger than one inch. Just so it's got some room to, to rotate. This is going to be exciting. Let's see what happens. Huh. Give me. So this is what this is supposed to do. Yay! Good Lord. Try that again. Which way can you see it? This way. Try not to whack myself in the face. Anyway, that's what I want it to do. I want it to be, it's going to slide off. I want it to be able to spin on this new rake handle slash flagpole holder thing. One more to go. One of the problems I have with my particular sander is this threaded rod, for whatever reason, got bent. It may have been like that when I bought it. I don't know. But it's a, a booger to actually get this tightened on here to where it's supposed to be. And there should be a washer on top of there, but I can't use it with the washer on there. So get, it tends to want to slip a little bit if you put any kind of real heavy weight on it, but we'll try it. I can fix this. It's going to create a couple extra steps, but at least the spindle aspect of it isn't going to slip inside of there. I hope. I could be wrong. Now let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, baby. Sweetness. Beautiful. All right. So now just so you have a gist as to the emptiness thought process going on here, I'll just show you on the top one here. These fit a little bit snugger. They're going to have glue on them. Then that slips on, and then this slips on with glue. And that's going to allow that to spin and not do that because it'll be in, this won't be glued in place, but these will. So anyway. Part of me says I should paint this because this is, you know, it could swell and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Because, like I said, flag day is coming up. And I'm not going to fly a crooked, nasty flag on flag day. So we're going to get this put together. Going to go with the Type Bond 3. 3, okay. I want to give false information. That would be wrong. 32 inches. I have to have room for my rings. Oh, that might work out really well, or it might not. So if I put this on, say right at the top, stop it. Stop. You're not supposed to do that. I'm going to bring her down just to, no, nah, that's fine like that. Okay. I like it. So I'm going to put a mark here slide that out of the way and put a mark here that way i know where those go i already put a mark here but i'm going to put another one slide that put a mark here and then it's just a matter of gluing her together i don't even know if i have the right eyeball you know the story. So, come on now. Golly. Get. Grr, grr. Okay. I thought I told you guys to remind me to put this away. Good job. You had one job. Okay. I forgive you. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I don't even know if I have the right eye bolts for this, which if you know me, I don't. Um, we're going to glue it together anyway. And I think I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to slide one of these down. 
And I think what I'm going to do, knowing that tight bond three comes out a lot quicker, we're just going to put a little dabble, do you? Smear that about. I'm not overly worried about the squeeze out and, you know, everything you would normally worry about. And then I'm going to slide this ring into the glue. Until I see that pencil mark, which I blew right by. Right about there. Okay. Um... okay this is the one i used when i was you know doing breaks and stuff like that the past week or so has been a lot of thrashing on cars no, no very little woodwork um, set of brakes on a set of brakes on my wife's car and an oil change two sets of brakes on my truck and fix the tail lights that weren't working and put a patch on the it's inspected now i can drive it legally without getting pulled over um, by the authorities i don't want this right up against this i want there to be a little bit of room so she spins so i am going to back this off again little dab that's a lot of dab that'll be all right we're going to spread it away from the rotator. Sure he is. Kind of like that. Okay. Quit while you're ahead. I've always said that. Um, today's hammer will be played by the part of the chisel. I could do this all day. Okay. Halfway done. Except I done spun all my marks right out of there. Same thing up here. Oh, mercy. I'm not in a big hurry, but I'm in a little bit of a hurry because there's somebody coming over in a little bit. So, you know, I got that going on. Let's get in, get in there. Slide this one down into the glue, bring it back about there. Okay. Slippity doo da, slippity hey. Yep. I think I get to go to Home Depot tonight. Not a hundred percent sure, but I think so. Okay. She gonna stand like that. The wind's gonna blow and she shall spin. I said she shall spin. You will spin. We're gonna let that glue that glue set up. That's kind of straight. Does it look stupid? I don't care. Will it do its job? Yes, that's what I'm looking for here. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit and dry. Uh, if I'm going to the depot of the homes tonight, I'll go ahead and pick up the screws. I thought I'd wipe that glue off of her. I'll go ahead and pick up the screws that I need for this. Uh, get her set up. Let that flag fly the way she's supposed to. All right. See you guys in a bit. Okay. It's actually not the next day. Um, I didn't get to go to Home Depot. I didn't go Sunday. No, I did go Sunday after church, actually. Um, what a madhouse. Like, everybody and their mother was doing decks on Sunday. Um, but I didn't get to work on the flagpole because I did a really quick another accessibility ramp. 
uh, which went much quicker because I knew how to do it now. Anyway, long story short, uh, I did pick up some hardware I, where I, hardware while I was there. This is the ever built five thirty seconds by an, I think an inch and three eighths. It's a screw in eyelet is all it is. You get two of them in a package. They were dirt cheap. They were like a dollar or something. And I found these S beaners. I, it's like a carabiner, but it's on two sides. And that's going to, one side's going to hook into the flag. The other side's going to hook into the, anyway, all I got to do now is get the eyelets put in there. It has, uh, it, listen, if it's, if rainy days and Mondays bring you down today is not your day in Northwestern Pennsylvania. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting old enough where I'm saying things like we need the rain. Yeah, it's true. We do. So I'm going to drill a couple holes and put these in. Uh, as soon as I find my drill bits, which are right here. You got a Carter Lumber nearby? I didn't know that. It doesn't really matter where you drill the hole, and it doesn't have to be lined up, because remember, these things spin. So I'm just going to go right here, right in the middle. And I have about half inch of threads. That was way too much. I think I went all the way through. That's okay. We won't tell nobody, and they won't know. Maybe a little bit better on that one. Okay. It's only one way to open these. <laughs> that was dinner. Ugh. These little eyelet holes, if you have a, a screwdriver or something, you, which I normally do, and I don't see one here, you can stick a screwdriver in there and it'll help you drive them in. You probably already know that, but maybe some of you don't. Where did we go here? This, uh, here we go. This way. All right. That's essentially it. Uh, now, because it is a rainy day and a Monday, it did have me thinking. Uh, while I don't want to paint this, I do. I think I'm going to throw a coat of wax on it just to sort of help a little bit with the with the rain. It may not help it much, but I'm going to at least give it something to say that I tried. Okay. And then the only thing left to do is get the old nasty metal pole. I'll put this one in, hook the flag to it, and let that puppy fly. So once again, you can see the problem, obviously. So we're just going to tuck that right there. Oh, she's soaked. Yeah. Oh, now it spins and slides. Didn't do that before. That's funny. I'm going to try and find a way to incorporate that eagle onto the top of my flagpole. That's pretty cool. Yep, get that in there correctly. And the same down here. And then, oh, flying it upside down. Flat, uh, country in distress. We're not in distress. Seems like that should go in further than that. Holy cow. Take the screw all the way out. What's holding me up here? Oh, there we go. That's more better. Yep, I like it. That's going to do a really good job of making sure that the flag does not get tangled up yet. Yeah, there's a, the, the two rotators are a little bit close together as you can see there, uh, but that's okay. We put a little solar powered light there so that we can light this thing up at night too, the way it's supposed to be. Hey folks, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and give me a like, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And in the meantime, get your flag out. Tomorrow's flag day. Fly it proud, and remember why we celebrate this flag. Have a great week. I'll see you on the next one.